Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this one is going to be focused on setting up Android Studio. There's been a lot of people in Discord lately who are having issues setting this up with 5.3. Um, I will switch over to just voiceover in a minute because the way I had to record all the videos on a different machine. But what I want to say is there is some Java issues that can arise and I do show how to fix that at the end. What I'll do is I'll also come back at the end of it and I'll show you how to change between 5.2 and 5.3. So if you're working between different versions of Unreal, <clears throat> uh, like I do for work, I go from 5.2 to 5.3, then I can show you how to switch those so you can build on either version. Although you will have to do it for each project, essentially. Uh, it can be quite annoying, but I'll show you how to do that and set that all up. The aim of this video specifically is to be able to build your project to the Quest 3. Although if you're doing any kind of Android stuff, it will work the same way. All you'll need to do is change your Android NDK version to match the hardware that you're going for. Um, so just keep that in mind. And um, with that said, we'll jump right in and I'll kind of walk you through how to set it up. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Chrome or whatever web browser you're using and search for Android Studio 4.0. You'll then want to open Android Studio Download Archives. And then in here, you can scroll down and then accept the agreed terms. And in here, it'll list all the Android Studio versions that are available to us. We want to scroll down until we find Android Studio 4.0. Once we find Studio 4.0, so I do Control F, just so I can find it a little bit easier. We want to download the EXE file from within inside of that. So you can see here, I keep going till it's literally just 4.0, no other version. So Android Studio 4.0 from May. Uh, May 28th 2020 and then we want to find the Windows Android Studio IDE for Windows zip so save that and then download it and then it'll take a minute to download it's a bit hefty so once that's done we'll be able to come back and then open that up so now it downloads I'm just waiting for it to finish once it's done we'll see a little Android icon next to the application name so we can just double click that and that'll boot up Android. So we just want to wait for this to sort itself out. And then once it's done, it'll boot up. And you can see in the bottom right, we're also getting a Windows Defender to action that. I think I forget about this at this point. So I've just hit next. And then install this through to the default location. It'll be absolutely fine. So once that's done, we'll come back. So with that finished, we can do next and then finish. And then we just want to wait for Android Studio to boot up. Once that's done, it'll ask us, or it'll say no Android SDK found. We just want to hit next because we're going to install one. And then once we've done next, we can leave it as it is. I typically leave this as default. And then just make sure that we remember the local Android SDK if we need it for where it is. Um, so there you can see next, it's just going to install the SDK in the JDK locations. Just go next through that as well. This might take a minute, so just leave it for a second and then come back once it's done. So now it's finished, we can hit finish and then we can go to configure, SDK manager, and then we wanna to go to SDK tools. And in here, we're gonna to go to show package details. And we're gonna leave everything. We just wanna scroll down till we find Android SDK command line tools and we wanna tick the one with the version eight. So command line tools eight, and then just hit okay. And we're just gonna do this because Unreal actually has a file, uh, a dot bat file, which will install everything for us using this command line. If it doesn't work, I'll show you how you can go through and change that. Um, we will have to modify that file anyway. So once that's finished, we can just hit finish. And you can see now that I actually remember to hit the Windows Defender. So with that done, you want to go to your C drive, program files, Epic Games, UE 5.3, Engine, Extras, Android folder. I'm using Source for this version because that was the only one that I had installed on that machine. So I do the same thing, but with that version. So I go to Engine, Extras, and then in here, we want to find the setup android.bat, and we actually want to edit it. Once the folder is open, you want to scroll down. I believe it's pretty much at the bottom at this point. 
and you want to look for the line that says SDK Manager Studio SDK Path CMD Line Tools Latest. And you want to change that latest to match the command line tools that we just installed with Android. So 8.0. And then just do file and then save all. So file, save, and then we can close that down and we can double click it to run. So while that's running, it should be pretty quick. It shouldn't take too long, but it will download some stuff. While it's doing its thing, what you can do is you can go ahead and open up Epic Games Launcher and start a version of Unreal. So we just want a blank project. Because I'm using source, I'm just gonna open it up from the shortcut of the application directly in the folder. But we just wanna set up a default VR template so we can use that for testing the APK and to make sure that it builds. You can see here that I just created a blank project just with virtual reality checked. And then we can use that to build to the headset. While you're doing that, you can open up environment variables through Windows and then go to environment variables and you can see the NDK Java Android Home NDK root and you can check those to make sure that they're correct for your machine. This is what Unreal should have installed for you and then you can use those as a starting point. So once Unreal boots up, we wanna just close those little options. My version has MetaXR installed by default, which is why it's showing up, but we just wanna to go to Android and then configure now and change target version to 32, which is the native target SDK for the MetaQuest. And then NDK API level, we wanna match that as well, so Android 32. So with those matched, it should be a case of just going to platforms, Android, and then package project. And we're just gonna select a location to save our APK, just so we can test it to make it go through. I know it's gonna fail here because I don't have an, uh, Java 17 installed, so I want to build this anyway, show you guys what that error looks like. So if anybody's having it while following along, they can check it out. And then I can show you how to fix that as well. It's important to note that the first process of building the APK can take a very long time. I think this one took maybe 15 to 30 minutes. Um, oh no, this one took an hour and eight minutes. You can see from there. So you can see here that I've got a, an er unknown error. And above it, I've got a whole bunch of things that says um, Gradle plugin API version requires 7.5. 7.42 declares a runtime of a component. Its dependencies declared external. And you can just see that it's just generally not working. Uh, required compatibility with Java 8. Oh, I was getting ahead of myself. Um, if this built for you, then that's all you need to do. You're all done. Um, if not, you want to go to Google and then search for JDK 17 download. Uh, I will have a link in the description for these, same as the Android Studio. Um, but yeah, JDK 17 archive downloads, and then we can get that from there. Should be one of the newer ones. Uh, you can just hit accept all. And then if you scroll down, we want to find the Windows X64 installer. We're just going to double click that link, and that'll download for us. And once that's done, we just want to open up our downloads folder so we can install it. So just give it a double click. Wait for it to boot up. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. And then hit next. And then keep an eye on the actual download location or the install location because we're going to need that. So in here, I actually copy it. So it won't let me right click, but I do control C and then next and then install. So we just want to wait for this to finish. And then we're going to head back to Unreal. So we hit close, go back to Unreal and then project settings. You want to find Android SDK. And then for location of Java, we want to set this to program files, Java JDK 17. If you're working with 5.2 and it was working previously, you can change this file to JDK 11. I'll use the three dots and then that will put it back to 5.2 for you. So, once that's done, I removed the semicolon as well, but you can actually just build the APK again. And because this is the second time, it should be much faster. So just wait for it to finish. And then hopefully this time it says compile uh, complete. If it doesn't head over to the discord and we'll try and give you a hand with that. We've got a quest two channel. And then we've also got a hashtag Android section. So you can take a look into that to see what's going on. See if there's any fixes in there for you. And with that done, 
I then find the folder that I saved the APK to and then open that up and then you can install it to the headset, which is pretty much it. Um, I want to say a big thank you to all the Patreons and Discord members, members for helping figure all this stuff out, like helping me like spend the time to do it. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to. And I look forward to the next tutorials coming out or Quest 3 related, which is going to be fun. Um, but yeah, if you got any issues, head over to the Discord. Make sure to let me know. And then we'll try our best to help you out. And we'll go from there. Awesome. All right, everyone. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.